Hello, my name is Danny and I'm a senior in college. I go to Loyola University, Maryland. And now that it is my second semester of senior year, things are starting to get really crazy really fast. I watch a lot of YouTube, as I'm sure a lot of you guys do as well. And I haven't really seen anyone take their viewers throughout the entire job search process and everything that goes into it. And I feel like this could be a really cool series to start on my channel. So. That's what we're going to be starting right now. So definitely make sure to subscribe to my channel, especially if you wanna watch as I try and figure out what the hell I'm gonna do with my life after I leave this place in just a few months. There's a lot of stuff that has to get done, but we're gonna focus on today and today only. Right now it's like 10 o'clock in the morning. I'm gonna start by doing my makeup and then we're gonna start chatting about a bunch of fun stuff. So I'm finishing up getting ready for my day right now and I figured we can start off this whole conversation by covering the basics. My major in college is technically communications, but at Loyola you get to choose your specialization. So my specialization is in both advertising and public relations. I actually didn't go into college as a communications major and I don't think that's something I've ever really spoken about. Initially when I came to Loyola, I was actually a business marketing major and I've always been really into business. Looking back, I mean advertising was always the path I was going to go down. For some reason, business just made sense to me, especially because the business school at Loyola is phenomenal. Surprisingly enough, I actually stuck out being a business major for my entire freshman year. And not only that, but I actually did really, really well in all of my business classes. I got an A in both my microeconomics class and my macroeconomics class, which was surprising to my parents especially, but I really enjoyed those classes. The only thing that stopped me is that my advisor told me that in order to be a business major, I guess considering the classes that I had taken in high school, I would have had to take two semesters of pre-calc, one semester of calculus, and then another semester of some other math class. And the second she told me that, I was like, I'm out. You know, looking back, I honestly think that switching to be a communications major was the best thing that I could have done for myself, especially because I've taken classes like social media advertising, and I literally took a social media influencers class my first semester of junior year, and I never would have been able to take classes like that had I stuck in the business school. So to each their own, but I definitely think it was the best thing for me personally, especially because I'm doing things currently with social media, obviously my YouTube channel, so why not just stick with it? And one thing that I've never spoken about on my channel, but I figure I'll get some questions on, is my GPA. Growing up, I've always had very strong opinions about GPA, I guess, and what it says about you as a person. Personally, I don't think it says much at all. And lucky for me and lots of other people, especially in the field of advertising, your GPA is starting to play less and less of an important factor on whether or not you're qualified for a job. And I think that's totally a step in the right direction. I would much rather a future employer look at me and consider me for a job because of all the hard work I've poured into this YouTube channel and for my past work experiences and internships rather than how I perform on exams. I just don't think that your GPA is very telling to your work ethic and your type of person you are. And I think it's unfortunate when people get down on themselves and say, oh, I'm so stupid because I don't have a 4.0. You're not at all. My GPA is a 3.5 or around there. And I'm very proud of myself. I've come a long way since high school. But I mean, if you have a 4.0 or higher, that's incredible. If you have less than a 3.5, that's also incredible. As long as you're doing things that are good for yourself, and good for your mental health, that is literally all that matters. Your GPA does not define you as a person. Now that I'm finally done getting myself ready, I figure I should probably throw on some actual clothes because I cannot go to class in what I'm wearing right now, but I'm only going to one class and I might end up running some errands a little later, but other than that, I really won't be leaving my apartment too much, so it doesn't have to be too crazy, but I do think I'm gonna throw on my trusty pair of black leggings. These are from Fabletics. I have officially decided that I love Fabletics leggings, so much more than Lululemon. I'm still obviously gonna wear Lululemon, but for the time being, I love my Fabletics leggings so much. And then I'm probably gonna wear my puffer jacket because it's quite cold outside. But then underneath, I think I'm just gonna wear this white t-shirt from Calvin Klein. It's stupid hot in all of my classrooms, so I need something a little bit lighter underneath my jacket. And just because I never wear them nearly as much as I should, and I got them for Christmas, and I really do love them, 
I'm gonna wear these sneakers from Fry. They're just a little different for me and I'm having trouble easing my way in to wearing them all the time, but I figured today is a good day to do so. And as we begin to talk about my past internship experiences, I'm gonna be eating a snack. I don't really know if I'm behind on this whole, it's not even a trend. I don't even know if I've, like I'm behind on this, but I recently discovered these chicken and a biscuit crackers. My roommate Madeline introduced them to me and I am obsessed with them. So we're gonna be sitting down, having a snack, and having a chat about internships. I have had three summer internships in my life and although I vlogged a lot of my internship last summer, I've never actually gone into a deep dive of what exactly it is that I do just for confidentiality reasons, really. While I'm working at these places, I never wanna step on anyone's toes, but now that I'm three years out of my first one and I've fully wrapped up my other two, I figure it's kind of safe to talk about, so. My first internship that I ever had was the summer after my freshman year of college, which is very early to have a summer internship, especially in advertising. Those usually don't come until the summer after your junior year, but I got very, very lucky and I'm very grateful for that. So I interned at this agency called Gray, in particular the multicultural agency within Gray called Wing. And naturally going into my first internship I was so nervous but all the people at this agency quite literally took me under their wing pun intended and oops, sorry um, quite literally took me under their wing and they taught me so much so I kind of stepped in there with a weird circumstance because my first day I met what was going to be my boss for the entire summer and at the end of my first day she came up to me and told me that she was actually leaving in five days for another job I was definitely a little rattled by that but it ended up being a really good thing first of all in the five days that she was there she taught me so much and also she was leaving behind a few unfinished projects that I was able to kind of not to take the lead on but I was really able to like get my hands on and the biggest one was kind of a rebrand if you will I don't really know how else to describe it but kind of a rebrand for a very popular frozen food company I worked on it pretty much the entire summer it was stressful it was fun I was able to audit all these social media channels and at the end of it I was able to present my entire deck to like I want to say 30, 30 people in one meeting. It was crazy. And it was just a really incredible first internship experience. And I'm very lucky for that. So because of that, I actually decided to return back to Wing or back to Gray um, the following summer. And I'm very lucky that they had me back. And it was even better the second year, really. I felt a lot more included not that i felt excluded my first summer whatsoever but i felt a lot more included my second summer and i don't really know why but i was able to make more of a connection with the people i was working with and i actually worked on a lot of new business accounts so i was able to do a lot of research which is never something i thought i would be into or good at but again i got some really great feedback from the people i was working with who said that i was quite good at doing research so that was something that gave me a really nice boost of confidence because it meant that i was able to do something new that I didn't really think I was all too good at. Across the board in all three of my internships, I worked as a strategist and I considered going into creative or account management, but strategy is always something that I found that I was best at and I'm really happy that I stuck with that because it's given me some amazing um, experience that I can bounce off of now when trying to find a new job. And then into my third summer, this past summer, that I've vlogged quite a bit of. So if you guys wanna see more about my whole internship experiences, you can go watch those videos from this past summer. I think they're a lot of fun. But this past summer, I decided to intern at a new agency, which is called Publicis. Both of these agencies, by the way, Gray and Publicis, are located in New York City. And and I had such an amazing time this past summer. I really, really did. I worked on a banking account. Again, I don't really wanna say the exact company or brand that I worked for, but I worked for a banking account, which is never something that I thought I would be learning about. I now know so much terminology about opening debit cards and credit cards and all that stuff, which is honestly super cool. And in addition to working on that account with a very set team of people who were some of the best people ever, I miss working there every single day, I really do. Um, so in addition to that, I also participated in an intern competition. And this is where things got really cool because all of the interns at Publicis were split into two groups and we worked on, I guess this is an account I can say, 
we're just gonna go for it and if I need to edit this out I can anyway I worked on Walmart baby and like Walmart but then the particular baby department within Walmart both of the intern teams did and it was kind of our job to put together like find a way to re-establish Walmart baby and make it the number one baby brand in the market. So again, within this internship team, I did work as a strategist and I was able to not only dip my toes into strategy, but also talk about things that I'm clearly very passionate about, like social media and social media influencer. I've talked about it in a few videos, but we did end up winning the internship competition, which was super exciting because we worked our asses off for that. So that was definitely an accomplishment. I don't even really remember how many people People were in that audience I kind of blacked out but it was such a unique experience and I'm so lucky that I was able to have that and now I'm able to talk about it in interviews and have it on my LinkedIn and have it on my resume I just feel really grateful to be able to have had three incredible internship um, what's the word I'm looking for god I like can't speak today so that's pretty much the gist on all of my internship experiences if you guys have any other questions you can leave them down below I don't know how people do mukbangs and they eat while they talk. This is freaking impossible. But if you guys do have any more specific questions, leave them down below. I would love to answer them for you. But yeah, that's pretty much that on that. I'm about to walk out the door for class. I realized that I haven't really left my apartment at all today, so I figured I should put on a sweatshirt just in case it's a lot colder than I think it is. But I ended up just hanging out with my roommates a bunch once they got home. We spent like two hours in the living room, and now I'm off to my video 101 class. Yesterday, I got a really, really nice email from my teacher because he recently found out about my YouTube channel because one of the girls in the class watches my videos, and he was asking me all these questions about it, and he sent me a really kind email, and it's always really cool to get the support from your teachers because I have a lot of like fellow student fellow students that sounds so weird but like a lot of people who go to Loyola watch my videos so it's always really nice when they come up to me but when a teacher says really nice things about my channel it's just means a little extra I'm off to class, okay, I'm going to class. bye see you later <laughs> see you never bye Laura bye Laura I'll miss you We are back from class. I had only one class today, like I told you guys, and it went by really, really fast. I really enjoy that class, so I really don't even mind going to campus for it. And it's also nice, especially on Wednesdays, when I don't really have much to do other than YouTube stuff to get out of the house and see people, socialize, and yeah, it was a really good day. When I have a bad day, it kind of just like throws me for a loop. And yesterday was not my best day whatsoever. I was just in a funk to say the least and when I get into a funk I mean I've been through like stages in my life where funks last me like two months and that's never fun but I'm grateful that today was a much better day I cannot wait to take you guys through my entire post-grad journey and job search journey it's gonna be freaking crazy but I definitely am excited to take you guys along so if you guys are looking forward to the rest of these videos let me know if you guys have yet to subscribe make sure to do so and i'll talk to you guys very soon in my next video i just realized how unflattering this light is i'll talk to you guys very soon in my next video bye